Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be off of this new palette that I got, Kathleen Light Collaboration with Morphe. As you can see, these amazing shades that we have in here, great pigment as well. Really warm shades, a lot of transition shades. I was really drawn to this green color right here, as you can tell. And I had a really good time filming this. If you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. My name is Gabby Fox. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, we're going to go in with the Pixie Glow Tonic to kind of clean the face. Exfoliate it. And after that, we're going to go in with the Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer. We're going to go in with the Inglot Base Primer for the eyes. Alright, we're going to start off with the transition shade. I'm going to go into this middle shade right here. It has a little gold sparkles. And we are going to go above the crease and up to the brow bone with it. And we're going to start at the crease and move up to the brow bone. And now we're gonna go into a much darker shade for the crease. I'm gonna go with this other dark, kind of like a um, brownish, reddish color right here. I'm using a medium size blending brush. The brush I used earlier was a MAC 227. It's a bigger blending brush to kind of get all the shades together and to also blend out more of the landscape of the eye. The medium blending brush is different from the larger one. The medium kind of gives you kind of more of an exact spot instead of um, as a bigger one. It works around the whole eye. We're going to go in with this darker green color shade inside the crease to kind of define more of the eye. And then we're going to go in with the MAC 224 blush to blend all this out. And a small defining brush, we're going to go in with my favorite color, black. And we are going to smoke it out right here on the outer part of your eye. And what you want to do, you want to kind of just pack it on there. And don't worry about getting too much product on the brush. This palette is very pigmented. We're gonna do like a little smoked out cat eye. So kind of do like a V and you wanna just blush it up like so. Get the MAC 224 and start blending it up.
Okay, with a regular flat brush, I am going to go back in with my eyeshadow base to kind of clean up right here because we're going to go in with this beautiful mermaid green color. And before we put on that green color, we're going to cover up with this white. Um, it's better if you're going to put brighter colors on the lids, you start off with the white base and then put the brighter colors on top. And with the smaller flat brush, I am going to spray a little bit of misting spray. Kind of want to get the brush wet and we are going to go in with my favorite. Since I think that this eyelid needs a little bit more pop, I'm going to go in with the eye candy glitter and the color Icing Sugar. It has little blues and greens in there and to apply it, I'm going to be using the Bin 9 Glitter Glue. This stuff is amazing. I'm telling you, you can't even rub the glitter off anything. It sticks so well. So I'm going to dip just a little finer brush like this into the glitter glue and now I'm going to dip it in this beautiful glitter. And we're also going to put the glitter in the tear duct area. Now I'm going to go in with liquid liner. I'm using Black Radiance Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to start off little in the inner part of my eyes and then I'm going to thicken the liner up towards the end. I didn't want to get rid of any of the glitter or the green. And after we're done with that, we're going to use a makeup wipe to clean up any other fallout that you have at the bottom of your eyes. And also to kind of clean up where the eyeliner is at. Now it's time for foundation. I am going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I am in the shade 6. And I'm also going to be mixing it with the NYX Liquid Illuminator. I kind of like a little bit more shine to my face, especially when I'm going out. Got to glow everywhere, honey. And before I do that, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Green Corrected. It kind of corrects all the dark and also the red pimples that I have on my face because I have not been taking care of my face. And that's why my face looks like this. So let me go ahead and put them in the red spots that we're having all over my face. I'm going to go in with the Sephora brush number 57. It is the airbrush concealer. After I paint in my face, I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender to blend it all out. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the Kabuki brush from Sephora. This is brush number 45. And I'm gonna continue the foundation onto my neck and my ears. Now that we are nice and yellow, we're going to go in with a bronzer to kind of bronze this look up, make me look a little bit more tanner. I'm going in with the Milani Bake Bronzer in, the num in shade number 4, Glow. After that, now we're going to move on to contour and conceal. I'm going to go in for my contour, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. I don't like to put it on my face. Dab a little bit into my plate right here and get a very nice fluffy angle brush. And for concealer, I am going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I am in the shade Medium Moen. After we conceal, we're going to be using a translucent powder. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. We are going to bake for our lives, girl. Get these jaws chiseled. While that's baking, we're going to do a little bit of blush. I'm going in with the NARS Orgasm Blush. After that's done baking, we're going to wipe off the powder. We're going to go in with the small definer brush. We're going to dip into these four colors onto the under eye. And then go in with that dark shade, the little brown amber shade. And now the gunmetal gray. Now back with the green. I'm gonna go back in there with a small blending brush and kind of smoke at that bottom line. And we're gonna hit back with the eye candy glitter. We're gonna go in with a small liner brush like this, dip it into the glitter glue and dip it into the glitter. Now we're going to do a pencil eyeliner from Rimmel London. It's called the Exaggerate Smoke and Shine Liner. And the color 001 Little Black Smoky. Now we're going to go in with mascara. I'm going to be using the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Now it's time to fill in my brows a little bit. I'm going to go in back with the flat brush and define these brows. And now we're going to use a spoolie brush to brush the brows out. I like to put a hairspray on the spoolie and then brush it. It lets the eyebrow hair stick. So my camera decided to turn off and while it was off, I went ahead and did highlight. This is from ColourPop in the shade Wisp. Now we're on to the final piece of this whole look, which is lips. I'm going to go in with ColourPop Times Square. We want to do a more natural look, that way it doesn't clash with the green lids.
So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like and share my video, and I will see you next time.